It's Thursday the 22nd of November, 11.30am and here I am in St Ives and uh, I've just stopped for a, a cup of tea having walked down from the campsite which is about probably a mile away and I'm carrying on this morning from where Rachel and I left off from last night. When I say last night it was only about half past three, four o'clock actually but it was starting to get dark and the, the light was fading. I had to go and do some shopping and uh, walk back up the hill again and Rachel was tending to um, a sparrow with a broken leg, I think it was, and she was trying to dig some worms or something uh, she, into that kind of thing. But it was really enjoyable having Rachel for company for a couple of hours. We walked along and told each other our life stories as you do. And, um, I hope I see her again one day, and maybe I will, but I'm, I hope she'll keep in touch. Today I decided against going walking to St Just. It seems almost as if I don't want to go, but to be honest with you, I don't want to go in the gale force winds that we've got at the moment, which is supposedly going to die off by this afternoon. But um, as I said once before, there's no rush, and I wouldn't enjoy it at all even if the wind is behind me and even though I'm always very careful I, I think it's dangerous to walk on a cliff top in 40 miles an hour wind and I wouldn't be able to get any video. So this morning I've got two cameras with me and uh, by a, a bit of magic I'm going to show you what I did at four o'clock this morning uh, in trying to solve this uh, wind noise camera, uh, in, wind noise in, in my cameras, and uh, so I. Uh, this is what my camera looks like at the moment. As you can see, it looks a little bit rough and ready, but um, it's uh, it's only a, a prototype. It's just a, an experimental uh, effort, really. Uh, and it looks it looks a bit Heath Robinson, but uh, I gave it a test earlier this morning in the in the wind outside the uh, camper van on the campsite uh, with two identical cameras facing in exactly the same direction, and it did cut the wind down quite considerably. But whether it's going to work on the cliff tops is another thing, and uh, I'll soon find out. Then I can uh, I can always change it again, but it's it's worth having a go at. My intention is to walk to Saint just tomorrow and then the day after to Land's End, so I'll, I should be all finished by Sunday and I'll spend another couple of days on the campsite having a rest and then I'll make a decision from there what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. So, here we go.
So people said to me that uh, when you're in uh, St Ives you must go to the sloop for a beer and I'll be honest with you uh, it, it's a nice pub I, I don't care much for the staff but nevertheless I've, I've met these very nice people this is Tom and this is Norma. Norma. So Tom what are you doing here where are you from? I'm having a drink in the sloop and it's been around since 1310 so that suits me fine. <laughs> Have you been here all that time? <laughs> I wish I had. I did say to them I was a ghost to come back. Yes. We got the clothes from a charity shop, so maybe that will do. Yes. I mean, it, yeah, it, it, I, I like these historic pubs, and, and part of this journey that I'm on is to visit places like yeah. this. I, I've been into lots and lots of places like this, which I didn't even know existed. Sure. And uh, yeah, I've had a pint of the, the local lager. I usually drink Stella, but I've had a pint of the the Corinth. local lager, it's very, very nice, you know. Well, that's Cornish for beer, isn't it? Yes, and, and, and it's, it's, you know, it, it's okay. And yourself, Norma, are you, are you, where are you from? Um, Scotland. Scotland? Well, you mm. haven't got... I haven't Scotland. been there for a long time, but, yeah. Right. We've actually come down here to visit Tate St Ives. Yes. Because I've never been there before, yes. so it's been wonderful. Yes. And that's where we're just on our way back. And we dropped in here and then met you, which is pretty really fascinating. It's well, I'm worried, well, please. I mean, it's not much of a walking day today, is it? No, with, with but isn't the... that view wonderful? Oh, yes, fabulous. I mean, I walked from Hale, I walked to Hale the day before yesterday, and yesterday I walked from Hale to here, and now yes. I'm just going around ahead and, and yes. to my camper van, which is just slightly down the coast, and tomorrow I'll be going to St. Josh. Really so this, it's all worked out really nicely. Yeah. One of the marvellous things about the Tate is that you're looking at these pink paintings and you know, local artists and so on, but every room you go into you actually get the view yes. over the sea yes. and it's been beautifully built with that in mind, I think. Yes, mm. absolutely. <laughs> and, and so where are you from, Tom? Well, oh, sorry, you, I've asked you that before. You're from Brixham, which is where my, my, Brixham, and, Devon. my exactly. ancestors Hawkins. are from. Yeah, Hawkins, the Hawkins family. And I know that the, the fishermen from Hull and uh, Grimsby, which is not your favourite word I know, <laughs> used to uh, come west and vice versa. Yes. Because uh, they all had a common, um, well, they shared a common yes. interest. Well, it was, it was it, they used to fish off, off, the, off the Humber seasonally in, in the winter and uh, they discovered Dogger Bank and, and what was called the Silver Pits. Sure. And that's, it, that was in around about 1830, 1840. And that's how Hull and Grimsby actually arrived on the scene, and that coincided with the railway system being built in, in, in 1840. And so, so Hull beat Grimsby to it, where they could actually get fish to Leeds and London much quicker than an, anything else. That was that was the new form of transport, and and so there was a, a massive boom in the population in Hull. Which is today, people don't believe me when I tell them it's a third of a million people. Sure. It, it, it's a big well, it's a city place. of culture, isn't it? Well, it was last year. Yeah, last year, yeah. And I walked through it uh, uh, on this journey, and, and you wouldn't believe the difference it makes. I've spent a lot of money, and, and it's a far more attractive place. But it's a port, and you expect a port like Hull or Liverpool or whatever. It's quite industrial, and, and it's a busy place. But it's, a, it's an attractive place, sure. and I'm very pleased to see that it is. You know. It's got the old warehouses, hasn't it? There's a, there's yes. a street of Green Ginger. The very land, famous, of Green Ginger, land of Green right. Ginger, yeah, yeah, very yeah, famous yeah. street. Yes. You can imagine them bringing... But Brixham had a railway um, that um, yes. Dr. Beeching... God, the ones that was, um, those down. God, mm. that's his name. In, in yeah, Axe, yeah, definitely. So. That, that took the fish to um, Chester and then on to London. Yes, yeah. And then it was disbanded. They yeah. built over it, and now there's a business case for a railway, but the land isn't available. No. So that's it, just a nice pub at the end of the yeah. line, the yeah. Queen's, if you ever go there. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, at the same time, in 63, uh, uh, with the beaching era, and also, uh, like, the Cod War was on at that time. I remember and, it. And then there was the beginnings of the EU. Well, I mean, <coughs> Hull, a third of the population of Hull was involved in the fishing industry one way and all the ancillary sure. industries and they all lost their jobs overnight basically. Yeah. You know, and, uh, but you're a swimmer as well. I you, am, you, but you, my you, mum was a swimmer. She used to swim in the middle of Torbay and hail the trawlers. I'd just jump in and out, you know, I'd just jump and swim. Just, it's always a good feeling. Yeah. I mean, you know that from walking. Yes. You never regret it. You, know, you might get damp on the way, especially swimming. 
yeah. test that one, but you know, it's great. As long as the seals leave you alone. As long as they come and nibble your feet and things. If you look at the lighthouse across the road, yeah. I don't know if you know that, if you go just to slight about 250 metres to the to the north of that, I, I passed, yes, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, there's a bay there and there was about 70 or 80 of them yeah. made on the beach. You know, there's, I've never seen so many seals in one go. They're, they're normally okay. Of course, you can't really tell with an animal like that, but some of the beta males, you know, who might get pushed around, yes, they yes. might be a bit aggressive, but generally they might nibble yes. uh, people. Yes. Especially well, if they've got uh, fins on, they tend yes. to kind of grab the fins. Well, you, you, I mean, the, the, the cliff is about probably 100, 100 feet up, you know. Yeah. I was quite amused by a woman the other day who said to me, she said, there's some seals down there. She said, but I'm warning you, they're having rumpy pumpy. <laughs> I, I never thought of a, I never thought of a seal as Is that a local brew or something? Bumpy. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. But look, I know we, we, we have more or less told in the life story or each other. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Yes, it's been, it's been very nice. Yes. And this is what I like about this. I've got no idea who I'm going to meet, what I'm going to see. And, 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 and it's, I'm very pleased that we just happen to be Sounds sat in wonderful. the same bar yeah. at the same mm. time. And it's a nice bar. It's a real one. It hasn't got too much candy floss. And, you know, look no, at it. it's that, that, that's right. Wood, stone, just as it was. beer, yeah. conversation, end of. We'll Absolutely. try and follow your travels. We don't have clay pipes anymore, but never mind, you can't have everything. I know, that's the, that's the distressing point. You can't smoke in here, can you? No. But, okay, very nice to meet hey, you. It's nice been to a meet real you pleasure. Too, yeah. yes. You take care, Th mate. Thank Be you. Bye-bye. Two o'clock now, and um, I've been sat talking to some very interesting people in the pub, and uh, as you just saw, and uh, it's time to leave, and it's time to set off back to the, the van. The wind is swirling around like it was forecast, even more so than I think anybody expected. And uh, whether this microphone is working, I'll find out later, but that's not the point. It's been, it's been nice to come here. It's just a, such a sad thing that it's such a, a bad day and I'm so pleased that I made the decision not to walk today. I was always a little bit worried about that and I seem to be kind of dilly-dallying about this but it's got to be right and it's got to be enjoyable. I'm not going to do it under duress and, uh, and so I'm very pleased. So I'm going to go and do some shopping now, walk around the head, I can't get many good shots with this wind as it is and make my way back to the camper van which has become almost my home and I can't wait to get back there.
Well, I'm on the island just above Porthmere Beach and I've met John. And John's an avid walker. John, you've got a bit of a story to tell, haven't you? Walking, yes. Yep, we've been going to the Northern Fells now for Christmas for about 17, 18 years. Yes. But before that, over the years, we've walked over Bodmin, Moor, Dartmoor, the Yorkshire Dales. Wow. Uh, we've walked through Northern um, Spain. Oh, yes. The Picos Europa Mountains. Yes. Over the years. That's fantastic. But we've never done the mountains in Germany. Really? There's some famous ones there, yes. so we hope to get there one day. And do you live locally? Yes, me, yeah, we do, Janet oh. and me. Are you, you, well, you're you not from this area originally? No, I'm from the north. Where are you from? Well, born in Bury. Oh, Bury. And then, uh, beginning of the war, we went back to Barry and Furness, or my parents did, where all the grandparents were. Right. So the old people, the family, two families, all moved back to Barry and Furness. Well, that's amazing. Uh, at the start of the war. During this walk, I, when, I, when I was in uh, North Wales, my daughter went camping at Ramsbottom. Oh yeah! And said, "You've got to come. You've got to come and see Ramsbottom, Dad." And I, I went over there and stayed for yeah. two or three days. And what a fantastic place, place that is! Yeah. And you mentioned Bury. They've got the yeah. they've got the East Lancs Railway that runs up there as yeah. well. Well, uh, I was born on my auntie Elsie's chicken farm, which was at a place called Burtle. All oh, right. Uh, just between Bury and Haywood. Oh, really. That's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Then. It's yeah. a lovely part of the world. I mean, I, I, is, I've yeah. been over there before, but yeah. never never camping, you know. Yeah. And it was, no. it yeah. was a fairly isolated place, but it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And we've walked in Derbyshire. Derbyshire is wonderful. Oh, it is. You know, next to the Lake District. Yes, fabulous. Uh, that's wonderful. Okay. Oh, very nice to meet well, you. Very well, nice um, to meet you. I haven't got your card. Jim? Uh, Jim, yes. All the best with your walk. Thank you. Okay, and yeah. then you'll have to research your next one it's <laughs> lovely to <laughs> lovely to meet you john lovely to meet you. interesting to meet someone who lived in bulgaria for five years oh well, well it was 10 years actually. 10 years yeah we lived we lived on the river danube for five years and yeah. then we lived in sophia for the second five oh, years wonderful. and yeah. uh yeah it's it, there's some very lovely people in bulgaria yeah. fantastic and lovely places to oh walk. yes absolutely there's, yeah. there's some fun the mountains and everything and, and uh, we found some really nice fishing lakes my wife yeah. and i used to go fishing there oh, and everything and catching yeah. huge carp yeah. and catfish and that yeah. kind of thing it was well wonderful. nice to meet you Jim. very nice to meet you i'll, I'll shake your hand before i yeah. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Bye. So bye. This is Paul uh, and this is Sean, and you both you're both from near Cardiff or north of Cardiff. Yes. And do you come down this way very often? Yes. As often as we can. This is our fourth week down here this year. The fourth. Wow. Yeah. wow. We've so been coming here for over forty years. Oh, that's incredible, yeah. isn't it? And and yet you've got such a lovely coastline in Wales as well, yeah. haven't you? The yes. Pembrokeshire and everything. We had a caravan in uh, Saundersfoot. In, Great. Oh, and Saundersfoot. Oh, yeah. Near that's Tenby. a nice. Well, that, that's almost near the north, the, the, the sort of western end. It's not far right. from. Uh, now, then, what's the name of the place? Fresh uh, water. Uh, Camar then is. Uh, St David's. Oh, I'm trying to think of the start of. Uh, it, 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 I go through so many places. Yeah. Uh, Amroth. Oh yes, lovely. Yeah, just yeah. Right, and between Amroth and Tembury. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, what you, about yourself then, Paul? Are you, are you, are you, do you happen to be a walker or? Oh, well, we do a little bit of walking. Uh, yes. Retired now, but. Uh, right. Uh, I do a bit more than you now. Yes. <laughs> We've got Fitbits. So. Ah, so I've got my Fitbit yeah. as well. Yeah, the, knees, the knees don't cope with a lot of walking these days. No, no, well, that's fair enough. But no, this Cornwall, I mean, I'm absolutely knocked out with it. It's, it's it, uh, it, around every corner. This is this is what this film's about, really. It's about every around every corner. Uh, I see something I've never ever seen before, and I meet people I've never met before, yeah. and, and, and you blend it together and put it onto video, we, and we it's, it's a, a wonderful things, memory. A few things down here is all the roads and little lanes and everything, they all lead to one place in St. Ives, and that's the sloop. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what I was saying. And it was here last, night before last, and um, uh, the Coast Guard was doing a, a practice climb and rescue by you, and really? I was worth watching. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. The life boat then last night, yeah, wasn't it? That's amazing. Launch. We always go to that on a Wednesday. Well, you both look very happy together, and you look as if you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. I've just been yeah. in the sloop, actually. I met a really interesting couple yeah. from Brixham in Devon, which is where my ancestors are from. Right. So, so it's really nice to talk to them. Yeah. 
But it's been a real pleasure meeting you. Right. Uh, seeing you. Lovely. Yes, we shall watch you now. Uh, 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 check me out. Anticipation to see where you're going to go next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm heading down to St. Just tomorrow and then the day after down right. to Land's End. Yeah. And, and then then I've got decisions to make about what I'm going to do after it's that. Cape Cornwall is nice down there. Cornwall, yes. been there. No, not yet. Oh, that's a very nice place. Yeah. Yes. Very yeah. rugged. Don't I? There's a yeah. feral climb to the top of there. There's yeah. a, a monument there or something. Yeah. That's right. Well, I'm looking forward to and things Sen like that. <laughs> You'd love to call in Sen and Cove. Yes, I will yes. indeed. Lovely to meet you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye. Thank you.